your Jewish wisdom on JTV from boiling Jerusalem. I don't know how you can manage in this uh, jacket. It is right? religion must do. You must do this in our Judaism. He's not actually Israeli, just to be clear. Um, he is uh, an American, an American rabbi, and a British guy speaking to you from Jerusalem. That's right. We're joined by Rabbi Gavril Freeman, and I want to talk to you about misconceptions people have about Judaism. You speak about certain key misconceptions, and you want to just start us off with the first one. Yeah, okay. So let's, uh, let's do it like this. So there are plenty of ideas that come up when a person doesn't have a background within Judaism, and when they do have a background within Judaism, about a misconception about what is Judaism all about, and how does it apply to one's life. So let's, uh, let's start with one of them, which is a hot and heavy one, if I may. May I? You may, you may. Thank you. Okay, so the first one I, wanted, I want to tackle, I want to jump on, and this I hear a lot of times where a person will come into a class and they'll say something along the lines of, you know, I once saw a religious Jew and they were really mean. I will never be a religious Jew. Do you know what I mean? Because they saw a religious Jew that was mean. I will never be a religious Jew. You see, have people that say, say things along those lines, or I once saw a religious Jew cut someone in line. Can you believe it? Or I once saw a religious Jew who fill in the blank. And therefore, I will never be, etc. Yeah. So I, let's, 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 the overarching misconception is where people I'm sorry to even say this because it's so classic, it's so cliche, at least to me, <laughs> or cliche if you can't read. But uh, it's so cliche the concept of d don't judge Judaism by the Jews. In other words, these are two distinct things. There's something called the Jew and there's something called Judaism. A Jew means that either you were born in, from your mother was Jewish or you converted to Judaism. That's a Jew. Judaism is a whole new world, a whole other discussion entirely. So when a person goes ahead and they say, I saw a religious Jew do something that wasn't up to standards that I think people should be living by, therefore I'll never be a religious Jew, they kind of just put Judaism and Jew as one. So in other words, I would say as follows. I once saw a person do something that was wrong, I will never be a person. <laughs> One thing has nothing to do with the other. You have right. people and you have the way people should be behaving. There's no connection whatsoever. We can't draw any connection. None. Any other questions? Okay, so the answer is, are there any connections? Of course you could draw a parallel that, well, they're supposed to live up to a certain standard and therefore, and that's a wonderful point, you're correct. They are supposed to live to a certain standard and they were subpar. They didn't do what they're supposed to be doing. That doesn't mean that that's Judaism. That means this was a Jew who happened to not be acting in line with what Judaism teaches. The concept of Judaism is something which is quite incredible. And even if, even if the majority were behaving a certain, even if the majority of religious Jews were behaving in a certain way, were cutting in line, we could still make that separation. <laughs> You're right. Cues, you you know what? You know, the queue. You must queue. I understand. I remember I was in England and they told me I must queue. I said, what does that mean? I didn't understand the language, but, but I know how to spell it now. It's a good Scrabble word. Q-U-E-U-E. -U -E -U -E. So anyway, um, so what about if the majority of Jews are behaving a certain way? Does that maybe say a certain thing? The answer to that again is maybe. It could be. It could be not. We'd have to take a look and see what it's about. Right. And then if it does and really that's what Judaism preaches, then that's a good point. You have to take a look and say, I got a problem with Judaism. I can't stand the fact that Judaism actually cares about taking care of people that are sick. That just drives me crazy, you know? I can't stand the fact that Judaism actually cares about interpersonal relationships, that people should, should be connected with one another. If that bothers you, then yes, and you have a problem with Judaism it as does. well. Yeah, okay. I'm leaving right now. Well, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a lot quicker that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't try that at home. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Therefore, friends, what I would suggest is, before going ahead and having a problem with something, let's understand, is that really what Judaism has to say about it? You'll be surprised to find that a lot of times the things that we have problems with in the ways that certain people behave, Judaism also has a problem with that. And perhaps we don't have a problem with it altogether. And if we look into that, I think it would change our perspectives tremendously.